I thank God for this opportunity. I thank God for your pastor. I, she was absolutely correct. When I met her in the ministerial institute, I said, I don't like that lady. I don't want to be in that lady's classroom. I don't want to have anything to do with her. But look at what God has done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he the friendship, you know. She is my sister. Mm -hmm. And I, I thank God for her. And I thank God for you, Bethel. Amen. For your support for her, for your support for what you do for Christ. And I bring you greetings from Mount Sinai and the church where my pastor is, the Reverend Lily Bethel. She says to tell you all her love. Amen. Amen. This so morning, we'd like to take a look at the second book of Timothy. We read from the second, the first, the second chapter, the first through the thirteen verses, and it reads: "You then, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus, and the things that you have heard me say in the presence of many witnesses, and trust to reliable men who will also be qualified to teach others. And do a hardship with us like a good soldier of Christ Jesus. No one serving as a soldier gets involved in civilian affairs." He wants to please his commanding officer. Similarly, if anyone competes as an athlete, he does not receive the victor's crown unless he competes according to the rules. The hardworking farmer should be the first to receive a share of the crops. Reflect on what I am saying, for the Lord will give you insight into all of this. Remember Jesus Christ, raised from the dead, descended from David. This is my gospel, for which I am suffering, even to the point of being chained like a criminal. But God's word is not chained. Therefore, I endure everything for the sake of the elect, that they too may obtain the salvation that is in Christ Jesus with eternal glory. Here is a trustworthy saying. If we die with him, we will also live with him. Yeah. If we endure, we will also reign with him. If we disown him, he will also disown us. Uh -huh. We are faithless. He will remain faithless. He will remain faithful, for he cannot disown himself. Mm -hmm. Word of God for God's people. This morning I like to speak on this subject. It's not easy. <laughs> but it's worth it. Come on. In the second book of Timothy, you find Paul encouraging Timothy to stay grounded in his service to the Lord. Paul reminds Timothy that there would be some difficult days ahead, and he tells him that during these difficult times, he must endure the suffering. He tells Timothy that it is easy to serve Christ for the wrong reasons. Mm. It is easy when it is rewarding or personally enriching. Paul tells him, but unless you have a proper foundation, mm. it will be easy to quit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, in reading this, I thought about the life that Paul lived after he was converted to the road, on the road to Damascus. You see, once Paul made up his mind to become a follower of Jesus Christ, it appears as if his life became more difficult. He was thrown into prison a number of times, beaten, shipwrecked, stoned. His people even turned against him. Paul said, but I have suffered, I had to suffer hunger and thirst. He suffered all of this and some for the gospel of Jesus Christ. But Paul never gave up. He continued to serve God. Some of us would have gave up a long time ago. Yes. We seem to have forgotten what it, was like, what it was like when we first came in. We shook the preacher's hand and everything was all right. Uh -huh. When we came in, we were so excited we couldn't wait to tell everybody about the love of Christ. Everything was all right. It was you and Jesus. Mm. Until the day you thought someone was looking at you wrong. <laughs> or somebody said something you did not like and it shook you up. If we continue with the same drive, that same dedication to want to go out and tell the world about a Savior who died for us, I know that if we truly stand in the walk and the ways of God, we would not lose so many of our babies to violent crimes. Mm. Our elderly could enjoy their latter years without the fear of being abused or taken advantage of. Mm. Instead of following the purpose and plan that God set for us, we take on the fight of Satan who will trick parents into fighting the schools because of their because their baby boy wants to dress like a girl uh -huh. and their little girl thinks she has the right to use the boy's bathroom. Well, uh -oh. it's time to stop looking for the easy way out and follow the instructions given to Timothy to endure hardship as a good soldier. Uh -huh. 
It is at the most difficult times when we trust God more than ever. Life happens to all of us. But I don't want nothing between my soul and my Savior. All right. mm. Are you ready to endure hardships and struggles for the Christ's sake? For the sake of Christ. I know that if we hold on and not give up, if we fight the good fight of faith until the end, he will see it, we will see our children and grandchildren build relationships with God. When it looks hopeless, don't give up. Don't give up. Don't look back. He will see us through. For some of us, we think hardship is when things don't go our way. But everything is not going to go the way you think. We get this grown and bad mouth at church. We're sitting in church fighting each other. Well. The steward board fighting. The stewardess board. Us is mad because they tired and want to sit down. And the choir got happy and won't stop singing. <laughs> the entire congregation mad because the pastor won't get to the benediction. We take this nonsense outside and allow others to hear us complaining about what we don't like about our church. They never hear anything good. And we wonder why we can't get nobody to come to our church. I didn't come either. That's right. You don't want to come, and the only reason you come is you're scared you might miss something. You might miss something else to complain about. Ooh. Some of us come because you're scared not to. Well, My heart broke the other day as I watched the reality show, Preachers of L.A. Mm. I listened as one preacher met with the other preachers to try to develop a ministry. One preacher came in with his gun. <laughs> they could not come together. They were not. They were arguing. They could not come together on the, for the sake of the ministry. But this is what Satan wants the world to see. Yeah. Preachers stepping outside of their marriages, having babies out of wedlock. We sit back and watch all this nonsense, myself included, and complain. We do nothing else. It seems as if every TV program has at least one homosexual person on it. Yeah. We can stop promoting these shows by simply not watching them. Paul said we are not to be entangled in the affairs of this world. I believe that if we stood together as one, the devil don't stand a chance. It's not easy, but it's worth it. We must build that foundation that Paul spoke of, and we build that foundation by reading and studying and searching his word. That's right. We must seek God in our daily lives. Some might have said, I'm going to serve him all of my life. Come Rain or shine, whatever the price, the way is not always easy. He did not say it would be. But if we keep striving, he promised to make the rough road smooth yeah. and the mountains low. So we can make it if we try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With God on our side, we can depend on the power of his love to protect and defend. Whatever we suffer, remember Jesus and his Jesus, sufferings. Jesus. If God raised him up, he will also do the same for us. Amen. God bless you.